I'm so glad to be here with you guys today. Um, I'm not, was, I was not play, playing Candy Crush. <laughs> Actually, I was reading something from the Bible, so that you know. <laughs> um, I can tell you that I thank God because everything comes through God and from God. And I hope that tonight you can understand me because there might be a language barrier. I'm Hispanic, but all my life I spoke English. And I come from a country that they speak broken English. And, but I had a teacher that was from the um, United States, and she always taught me. She was my favorite teacher. She would tell me, don't speak like that, Carmen. That's the wrong way of speaking. <laughs> and you stop saying water. It's not water. It's water. <laughs> and stuff like that, you know. And thanks God for her. And I'm standing here, and I can speak, you know, a little bit of our English, the correct English. Not the correct because they say it's not, still it's not the correct one, right? Something like that I hear. Sounds good. Yeah, but thanks God for that. Um, as I stand here, I can tell you that um, I thank God for Agape House. And to tell you the truth, I didn't even want to be there. Why? Because I felt that it was degrading to me. You see, to be in a shelter, you don't have to be a drug addict. You don't have to have problems. Probably you think you have everything at hand and everything. You are in control, you think. I thought I was in control because I always been a very independent person, although disabled, but very independent. And I wanted to do everything on my own. I didn't want to depend on nobody but God. But sometimes God has to teach us something that we always need somebody. Everybody needs somebody. And Ms. Lauren, that's my community care uh, health worker, she came to my house and she offered her, her services. And at that time, I was living in a place that was a very deplorable, in a very deplorable condition. Um, there was a lady across from me, the, my neighbor, she lost her marbles. And she opened all the burners in her stove. So we stayed from one day to the other. Those burners were, you know, open. And me and my grandma, she wasn't there. She left those there like that. The, the burners, you know, open. And me and my grandchildren were sleeping at the other building. And thanks God, nothing happened. But if that lady would have come and turned on a match, we would have flown to win the kingdom come. And many things, um, there was also a fire between the walls and somehow the fire extinguished itself and many other things. We were like, we had roaches in there, rats. I was the exterminator in that building, <laughs> killing roaches and everything. And then he wanted to raise my rent too. He was a slumlord. I faced him. I, when he tried to raise my rent, I said, if you think you're going to raise my rent, and I started make, reading the list of all the conditions in that apartment, you are not going to do it to me. You're going to find somebody else to do it, not to me. You know, and when Miss Lauren came and I thought, um, she learned about our condition, my grandkids and I, to tell you the truth, we couldn't sleep at night. There were neighbors that were like so noisy up to five in the morning when I needed to get up at 5.30 to get my grandkids ready to get to school because it's three of them. And everybody have to bathe and everybody have to dress proper to go to school. They were making noise. I would talk to the Lord. He didn't care. He said they pay rent. I said, but I pay rent too. You know, and all these conditions. When Miss Lauren told me about, I was looking for a shelter because I was tired. But when Miss Lauren told me, you know there's a better shelter than the one you're looking for because there's other shelter. It's called Bobby something, Bobby House, something like that. It's, it, they would admit you in there, but it's not, they were not giving you anything freely. They were like, you come into our shelter, but you make a, an agreement with us and you get a house, you buy a house. You are, your agreement is that you're gonna buy a house. You know, something like that, some kind of program, which is not bad, but I wasn't looking into that at the moment, you know? And let me read you something that I was reading before 
um, a friend loves at, at all times, a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. And that's Proverbs 17, 17. Now there's another one that says a man, and this is um, Proverbs 18, 24, a man of many companions may come to ruin, but there's a friend who stick closer than a brother. You see, sometimes friends can be, act towards you better than family. You know, and the Bible is always right, you know? And let me tell you something that the Bible says it is true. And I have seen it in Agape. Since I came to Agape, although as I said at the beginning, I was refusing, com I was giving Miss Lawrence such, Miss Lawrence, the last time she called me, I told her about the fire in the walls and, and the, um, with the wiring, the electrical wiring and, and the rats in the, oh my goodness. Carmen, what are you waiting for? I, I told her, I don't want to be in a shelter. I'm not in the street. I am not using drugs. I am not doing this. I am not. And she said, that's not the point. The point is you need a safe place to be with your grandkids. Finally, I said, she was almost in tears. And I said, I, I better do something. I decided to come to Agape. I saw the first person I saw was Miss, Miss Jenny. And she told me everything. She explained everything to me. But I never thought that it would be this way. To me, it was like, this is too much. That's it. They, they provide you for, you know, everything. For your bed, your food, your, your everything, you know. But the most thing that I needed, that God knew that I needed in my life was support. It was support. Because, you see, when you go through these things, you see your grandkids, like, suffering. Bed box from where? The, 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 the third floor person infested and then the landlord don't come and tell us protect yourself do something there's a uh, bed box in the building see and you know this have changed my life to the point where now i look at people in a different way you know i'm less judgmental because sometimes you see um oh well if she's in the street if she don't have a home it's because she's on a she's on drugs or she's doing this, or she's doing that. No, you don't have to be doing none of those things to find yourself suddenly, because today you are right up there, but tomorrow you might find yourself at the bottom. And you don't never know when that moment is gonna come. I felt safe in, in, me, in me providing to, uh, a roof over my head for me and my grandkids. I can show you right now all the, the, the receipt that I had. I never missed paying the rent to this guy, and yet he didn't care. You see, when I, when I came to, to Agape House, I mean, my spirit were very low. And I was going through trials, because that doesn't mean that, because you know, wherever you go, you will have trials in your life, one time or another. And, but I thank God for Miss Jenny, Miss Jen, like I call her Miss Jen, I thank God for Mama Jill, like I call her Mama Jill, you know? And I thank God for Agape House staff that they gave me so much support, they cried with me when I needed to cry. And they would always be understanding. They will always be there to bring me to the hospital if I needed to come. To, to Miss Jen had a tough time with me too because I was so independent. <laughs> I remember whenever um, Mama Jill would tell me, but Carmen, you need to do this and this. And Miss Jen one day told her, but she wanted to do it all on herself. She wanted to do it on her own. No, she can't do it. She can't do it. She wanted to do it. She was giving up on me, but she never did. And I thank God for that. So Agape House uh, Rescue Mission is a very important thing for the community. It might not be for us. Now I have a home that I can call my home. And whenever, I remember this funny thing, whenever Miss Jen would tell me, well, you know, finally, finally, you might get your forever home. At times when we were talking in the office, and I told her, don't call it like that, my forever home. That sounds like a, like, like a pet, like, some, like you're looking for a home from. <laughs> but now I understand. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Um, the experience that I left, lived there, it's, I will never forget. I thank God that I found a friend, like the Bible said, that stuck with me 
through thick and thin, through good and bad, they stuck with me. And I hope to God and I pray for, for Ms. Mr. Will, and I pray for Agape House, and I pray for the, the, the board, everybody there that I might not know, but I pray for everybody because I have this, this mission in my heart. And I feel like God have a plan. He has a plan. You might not know what the plan is, but God knows. You see, God knows the plan. And I think that the way you guys are working is the way to work, that you will never turn nobody back. That I always do, used to tell the ladies in there, listen, it's not them only, it's you. You have to put of, of, your, of your part too. Because sometimes you want to change somebody, but somebody does not want to change. And that's a difficult problem right there. So I hope that whatever we can do for Agape House, Mr. Wills know that um, since I got out from Agape House, I mean, God has provided so much for me. And I, all I ask God is to let me be a, a, a resource, a way to keep helping Miss Jen, Mr. Wills, Mr. Will, I know I owe you some stew chicken. Take it easy. It, it will come. It's my stew chicken. And rice. <laughs> but you're on a diet now. You can't. Oh. <laughs> she just told no me. Rice. No rice. No rice. No, rice. No, no, no um, starches. Nothing like that. And it's really so hard. But um, I will want, I want to, like I told Miss Jen, I told everybody, I'm going, I'm going to live on my own, but I am not living. Agape, I will always text somebody. I will ask for favors still, because I don't want to be, I don't want to leave my family. I feel this is my family now, you see? And whatever I can do, the other day, some people from Beaver Spring, they send a lot of stuff for, for the women's, um, and they, because when I moved, they started helping me. It came from, it's a long story. I'm gonna write it maybe someday. So you guys know what really happened, but it had been a long story. I had been involved with troopers. It, it's incredible the things God had been doing when I moved, that the guys from the mission were there moving me, but then there was a bunch of people, troopers that came there and, and their big boss was there. And oh my goodness, I was like, God, what is this? Why, I don't deserve this much, you know? But let me tell you something. Gratitude, gratitude will change all things. Because I remember this, this trooper that still, she's still with the, with the girls. And she comes home and she bring this stuff and anything you need, anything they need or whatever, whatever. But let me tell you how she, and I'm gonna finish, but the way she, <laughs> the way she um, got involved with us was because when she involved my kids in a program in school, she said the only parent that showed gratitude was me. And I praise God for that, that I have that in my heart that I can be grateful. That's why I'm here tonight for Agape House because I am so grateful. You know, I don't feel demeaned because I, have, I went to a shelter. It wasn't in my control. God knew why and God have a plan. You see, and let me tell you something. Um, she said, the only parent that showed gratitude was you. And I needed to keep being involved with you guys. And she's here up to, yesterday she was at home. Jailene is going to, to camp, cadet camp, you know, and all these things are happening because of Agape House. Because she got to know what the girls were. So I thank God for Agape House. And I thank you guys. I thank you guys that sponsor Agape House, and I thank Mr. Wills for being here, standing by me, thank you very much. And I thank Jenny, Miss Jen, and everybody, please, and sponsor Agape House and sponsor the program, you know? And God have a plan, remember that, okay?